Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sabir Cat if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. Thank you. In this video tutorial, I'll demonstrate the section plane tool in AutoCAD. This tool can be used to create a 2D or a 3D section from an existing 3D model. The model can be a solid surface or mesh model. When you click on the solid tab, you can see the section plane tool here. And when you click on the mesh tab, you will see the same tool in the section panel. And this tool can also be used on a surface model. Now let's try section plane tool on the solid model. So I'll click on section plane. Now I'm asked to select a face or any point to locate the section line. I'll click on the top of this face. The section plane is located here. I'll click on this move grip. I'll turn the O snap off and I'll keep the section plane somewhere over here. Now you can see that it has taken a section exactly at that point. As I manipulate the face, you will see the changes reflecting on the 3D model because the live section is on. When you just turn off the live section, you won't be able to see these changes. So I'll activate the live section. You have a number of grips here. Using this particular grip, you can extend the section plane in this direction. By clicking on this grip, it can be extended in this direction. Using this grip, you can flip the section plane and the section will get mirrored. I'll undo these changes. You can also manipulate the section plane object using editing commands. For example, I'll click on rotate 3D command in the modify panel and I'll select the section plane object and give enter. Here you will get the rotate gizmo. I'll activate the X axis gizmo to rotate it about the X axis. Now I'm asked to specify the angle of rotation. I'll give 45 degrees. You can see the corresponding changes reflecting on the section. I'll undo this. Next, I'll show you the procedure to create 2D and 3D sections from the section plane. So I'll select the section plane object, then right click. Here you can see generate section option and click on 2D 3D block. Now it will ask you whether you want a 2D section or 3D section. I want a 2D section. So click on create. Now you can see that a 2D section is created on the XY plane and it is created as a block. So you can just pick to specify the insertion point. If you want, you can scale it by giving a scale factor. I don't want to do that. So I'll give an enter and one more enter. Then if you want, you can also rotate it and I don't want to rotate it. So give an enter. Now you have got a 2D section. The section area is shown in solid fill. If you want, you can replace the solid fill with a different hash pattern. For that, just type X to explode this section and select the solid fill. You will see the hatch options in the ribbon. I'll click on user defined. I'll increase the scale to 1.5 and I'll give an angle of rotation of 45 degrees. Give enter and close the hatch editor. Now we are filled with the parallel lines inclined at 45 degrees. Similarly, you can create a 3D section. For that, I'll select the section plane object again, a right click, generate section, 2D 3D block and click on 3D section and create. Now this is a 3D section created from the model. Just pick to specify the insertion point. Then I'll give enters since I don't want to give any scale factors or rotation angle. Now if you erase a section plane, you will get the original object back and you have got the 2D as well as in the 3D section on the screen. I'll erase these sections. Now I'll click on section plane tool again. This time I'll use orthographic option to define the section planes. Now the orthographic planes are shown as options. We have front, back, top, etc. I'll click on front. You can see that the section plane will automatically appear at the front face and the front portion will get sectioned. I'll undo this. Click on section plane again and click on orthographic. This time I'll click on left plane as a section plane. Likewise, by using the orthographic option, you can choose any desired orthographic plane as a section plane. Now the section plane aligns with the left face of the object and the sectioning is done. If you need any clarifications on the different faces of an object, you can use the view cube as the reference. 
when you look at the view cube, you can see that this is a left face. And as you know, the various faces of an object is linked with the UCS. I'll undo this operation. Now I'll go to Visualize tab and I'll rotate the UCS about Z axis through minus 90. Now you can see that UCS is rotated and this is the right face. Previously, this was the front face. Now I'll click on section plane, go to orthographic option. I'll click on front. It's a similar kind of sectioning which you have seen before. And previously that was the left face. Since you have changed the orientation of UCS, the face got changed. So I suggest you to always look at the view cube if you need any clarifications to identify the various faces of an object. Now I'll erase the section object to get my unsectioned object back. Now I'll execute section plane tool again and I'll click on draw section option to specify the section plane. Using this option, you can sketch a section plane. Now it will ask you to specify a start point. I'll turn on the O-snap, track this point and pick a point here. Then I'll pick a point here and I'll track this point and I'll pick a point here. If you are finished sketching, you can just give an enter. I gave an enter. Now it will ask you to specify in direction of section view. That means you can pick a point on the side to be retained. I'll pick a point this side. So this is how the section will appear. Draw section option will let you flexibly create section planes by picking points at desired locations. Now I'll click on the section object, right click and I'll click on add jog to section option. Then I'll pick a point somewhere over here. Then you can see that it has added a jog or a projection here. And you can also further grip at this section to get some interesting results like this. So that's all for now. Until I catch you with another informative video on CAD. Bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time. Please feel free to follow me on Instagram to see some of my projects related with CAD. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group Sabir CAD. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box.